have our college education here. We also have chapter here. In Los Angeles. Uh, we have our executive board and council meetings here. And there are uh, like Greek saint practice here. You get to see like your, your brothers like on a day to day basis. The guys who live here, your guys come by and visit here. And I know that that means a lot to, to the members. Because normally, like when they're living off campus or in other residence halls, you, you only see them in chapter or like right. uh, or in practices that we have. But like living here and having this as a central hub, like they can they can come by and visit and all the guys who live here and talk with each other. It makes everybody a little bit closer because you you're around these people twenty four seven, and people are just in and out all the time. Um. In the chat room, there's usually at least three people always in there, watching TV, making food, doing something. So it's just nice to like get to know people who you wouldn't necessarily get to know if you weren't living in the house with them. This part, I think it's just um, the community kind of, where there's always just people in and out. You can always go in there. You're always around somebody. And I feel like I'm a lot closer with people here than when I lived in Andrews. Fall into a weird loophole, kind of, not on purpose. Um, we all pay rent here. So this isn't owned by any, this is a, like a landlord owns it, we rent it. He yeah. lets us put all our stuff up. Not like all other schools, which I know like our chapter at University of Illinois, the alumni owns the house. So they are gonna move in and they can do whatever the hell they want. We can't because we're still in the bounds of a lease. It's just a house with five caps living in it. <laughs>